Uh, good morning, everybody. It is 13 February, um, 2021, and it is cold. It is currently, let's see what it is. Break out the old iPhone 4S. It is currently 30 degrees. So about six degrees cooler than yesterday when we were out and we caught a couple bass. Today, I'm gonna to use these little underspins. I haven't fished with an underspin for many, 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 many years. Um, the last time I did was way, way back in the day um, when I was a kid. And I think the lure name was called a stump jumper. Um, if you all remember them, it was like a marabou jig. Um, that um, had a little underspin on it. So today I'm just going to take some of these old grubs and little soft plastics that I had from uh, way, way back in the, in the time. I'm just going to throw these guys in here. Um, I have white and chartreuse uh, underspins. I don't usually like to mix and match too much. Oh, crap. But, um... Today I might have to just because I only have those two colors. So I'm going to take a couple different little twist tails and some little tubes and whatnot. So we can have a little bit of, take the old beetle spin thing, a little dark color. So we're at Leon Creek again on Lackland. Um, I'm have one goal today and the one goal other than not to catch pneumonia is to catch a Rio in cold water typically Rios they are a very warm water loving fish so catching one today is gonna be very difficult but you never know so um we're only gonna use underspins and I might change up these little bodies but These are the little tiny underspins, and I have these as well. But I'm not going to use these because these guys here are like almost seven dollars each. So I'm not going for bass today. This is primarily a bass uh, underspin. I'm just going for Rios, and hopefully we'll catch one. If not, maybe a sunfish or two. But that's all that we're going for today. So that's my little baggie of assorted trailers, and that's all we're going to use today. Um. Yeah, so let's, uh, it's cold. I'm, <laughs> I have four layers on today. So dress in layers, and I'm, I'm toasty. And once I get on the water, because currently the wind is cutting across the flight line, and at the little parking area here, um, it is not all that cute to be in the wind. So um, I'm going to rig up now. So uh, I'll catch you on the water. All right, so we're making our way down here. Um, so I've caught a couple of Rios here in San Antonio. I caught a really, really nice one in the San Antonio River when I was fishing a bass fishing tournament here, probably back in July, I think it was. But um, I caught a couple of Rios out of this pool on Lackland um, on night crawlers. So um, I'm gonna give it a shot first. It's um. It's cold as heck out here, so I'm gonna try to use these gloves the best I can and see if I can use them. But if I have to go bare hand, then I have to go bare hand. But let's see if we can get something. Is this thing even spinning? Well, We'll see how it goes. Well, oh, I got a tree. All right, so that's not going as planned. So, 
water's flowing pretty good in here today so uh, I don't know the, a lot of the structure in here so I'm going to engage the reel to close the bale because uh, I don't want to get any minimize the snags Oh, we got one. Oh, guys. Uh, I don't think that was a Rio. That was... <laughs> I think that was a bit bigger than a Rio. Alright, so let's... Well, we know that something's in here. Other than that tree we hit. So... You can see that this is on base and there's some jackass that obviously likes this white claw crap and they like to just keep it here so this is their little area to store stuff like that thank you for that all right we switched it up and we put a little different trailer on there so i got three different colors going on now so um this is really odd Couple more casts here and we'll get them moving. Oh, we got one. Oh, look at that. Oh, he broke it. Shoot. Damn it. See that?